Australian scientists say they've developed a pain-free, low-cost way to test blood sugar levels in people with diabetes. It's all down to a non-invasive strip that checks glucose levels through a person's saliva. Researchers say the material which detects glucose can be printed at a low cost. They're hoping it'll replace the current needle-based blood test. Let's bring in Paul Dastor. He's a professor of physics at the University of Newcastle in Australia and led the team who created the test. He joins us via Skype from Newcastle. Uh, Paul, good to have you with us. So, look, scientists start describing this as the holy grail uh, of blood sugar testing, non-invasive, pain-free. You led the team that made this trip. How revolutionary is it, do you think? Well, we think it's going to make a massive difference, Darren, to millions of diabetics around the world. Um, being able to now test your blood sugar with your saliva rather than your blood opens up the door to pain-free testing, something that actually hinders the um, successful treatment of diabetes full stop. Yeah, and that's an important point you make, Paul, because type 1 diabetics usually uh, have to prick themselves with a pin up to five times a day to draw blood, and that's led many patients to cut corners and minimise their daily tests because it is painful, as you say. You're absolutely right. So imagine instead that you're able to simply use your saliva to test your glucose levels without any needles. That's what we've been working on for the past 20 years. And, and so, Paul, how does this new strip actually work? And what is it uh, about saliva that can tell us about our blood sugar levels? OK, so the materials that we work with are remarkable. They are electronic inks. These are polymers that can act as electronic materials. But the difference is that we can print them, and we can print them at massive scale using reel-to-reel -reel printers, the same sort of printers that you'd use to make newspapers. Your saliva has glucose in it, and that glucose concentration follows your blood glucose, but it's at a concentration about 100 times lower. So what this means is that we've had to develop a test that's low cost, easy to manufacture, but has a sensitivity about 100 times higher than standard blood glucose tests. Um, I mean, this strip seems pretty obvious, Paul, but, I mean, what sort of challenges, briefly, did the team face in bringing it? Well, we've had to develop the entire technology. It's based around being able to print transistors into which we embed biomolecules. And the biomolecule that we've embedded into this sensor, this transistor, is the enzyme that detects glucose. So being able to understand how that interaction works, how that can detect glucose and change the electrical performance of those transistors, and then being able to manufacture has been a huge challenge. Most recently, it's just been announced that we have secured funding to build the first factory to manufacture hundreds of millions of these sensors here in Australia. Uh, just a final thought to you, Paul, before you go. I mean, uh, this new strip, we understand, is still uh, in the clinical trial stage in Australia. When are we likely to see it come to market, then? We anticipate that it'll be on shelves within about two years' time. All right, Paul Dastor, good to get your thoughts. Thank you very much indeed for talking to Al Jazeera. Thank you. Thank you very much.